Hello, what is up YouTube? I know it has been years since I've posted up a video, but hopefully you guys can forgive me with the video that I'm going to put up today. Because today, today, um, a lot of people have been asking about it on the forums, the reddits and all the other stuff. Uh, people have been asking about the Abyss server. So today we're going to go through the Abyss server, exactly how I took down the bosses in the Abyss server and exactly what it is and what you do. So. Uh, I'm just here, just taking a walk down um, the Carnal Central Hospital, and uh, we're going to get into the base that you have at the end of the game. Uh, if you don't know, for you know spoilers in case you haven't got that, I mean you ha must have completed the game by now. But basically, in the other, the second part of the game, we end up having our base in the hospital because we can no longer go to the internet cafe. So guys, uh, let's go into the room where our computer is and let's get into it. I'll see you guys there. Okay guys, so uh, when you complete the game, so when you beat the final boss and you start, you continue on the same save, you'll actually get this um, this case here, Invitation to the Abyss from Mirai from the DigiLab. So just accept it and it will teleport you straight into the DigiLab where you're going to talk to Mire. And then Mire here is just going to, you know, act like normal that she's going to say that she's receiving a lot of kind of uh, darkness or, you know, she's just feeling, she's got a feeling, man. She's got a feeling that there's something going on in Eden or the digital space. So she's going to give you the Abyss server URL. So let's head on over to the Abyss server URL. Okay, guys, so the Abyss server URL is just here. Let's click into it. And as you can see, it will be a place that resembles uh, Justin Plaza, Justin Plaza, uh, Justin Park, or ugh, I forgot what it's called, Galactic Park, or whatever the the shit is called. Now, as you can see, uh, you've got I don't know if you can see in the background over there. There you go. Uh, Venomiotismon is blocking the path. Now he is a really, really tough Digimon. Uh, a lot of people have struggled against him. He's really, really powerful. So I've got a um, a team that can that should be able to handle him. Now. Mind you, this is being played on hard mode. On easy, I'm not exactly, or normal, I'm not so sure how easy it is, but on hard mode, it's definitely really tough. But if you follow these steps, he should be quite easy. This isn't the necessity. Um, you only need these three Digimon. Ignore all of these guys on the side. Um, but you don't even need them. This It just makes things quicker. So first one, you've got System on B, Awaken. Uh, as you can see, I've not added any stats. I've given her some HP and stuff, but that's not even needed anything. Her API isn't even at 200. The only things you need with Systemon is this Protect Wave and Chain Max. Again, Systemon is not even needed. She's just going to speed up the process and just uh, protect ourselves a little bit. Then we've got two Oriumons. Okay, now there's a little things you need with them. One, obviously, they've got an awesome, awesome special ability with a defense penetration attack that crits. We want this to crit. So, as you can see, with the attachments, I've actually given them a little bit of crit. Crit is gonna make, again make things go so much quicker. It's gonna raise your damage exponentially. Okay. The only other thing you need on them is acceleration boost. So ignore everything else. You just need acceleration boost and their skills. The reason why these two work well together is because of their um, their passive skill, Samurai Spirit. They're both adding 20% attack and 20% crit when you're adding them two together. So in total, you know, with their passive and also their attachment, you'll get at least 25% extra crit on top of their skill that crits more. You're more than likely gonna uh, critical. So you can take down Venomous one in probably a couple of hits. So we're gonna get into it. Uh, we'll go down for the mechanics and everything and I'll show you how exactly I beat him because I've already done this. This is a reload. So as you walk up to him, he will come in, leave this place human, I will not allow you to interfere with my master's ritual, be gone. Why do you insist on interrupting my master? All who threaten him must be eliminated. So, he, again, he's a really tough guy, he's going to go first and he's going to do two moves. Uh, number of the beast is not going to do anything and I think he's going to do another thing that doesn't, six action, six beast. So what this means is that every six action, so regardless of whether it was his turn or our turn, he's going to do something that's going to heal himself for 666 health and also boost his stats. Now he's going to do this every six turns, so to the point, he's going to get to the point where he's going to be able to one-shot even vaccine Digimon, um, you know, who obviously have half of the resistance. So you definitely want to take him out quickly. This is why this team is so good. Another thing that I forgot to mention when I was showing you the team, if you are going with this team I've set up, 
tr please try and make the Oriumons faster than system one the reason is you want the lineup to be like how it is on the player turn so you want the orion to be going before system one so she can do her protect wave move and it will actually protect your whole digimon and plus you just want them to have more people below them to allow for chain combos so at the start we're just going to accelerate boost with both of these guys they should be able to take some hits obviously we might get some unlucky stuff and as you're doing the moves have a look at the turn order make sure you're not messing up with anything now with this chain max okay i'm actually going to give it to this guy in the middle uh no, actually no i'm going to give it to the top guy just because there's more chance of them getting a triple boost like you know they might not but at least there's a bit of chance so we can potentially get unlucky here if he just aims for one or if destruction hits um and lose someone but as long as he doesn't hit the same people we should be fine as you can see we're good we survived that raise the roof so there we go so that was that was his six action he's actually gets his first boost there so all we do now we just use our special abilities can we get the triple we get the triple hopefully we get the crit this is going to be the max damage that we could potentially do if we get the critical uh let's just have a look this will take down a chunk of his health okay we didn't get the critical but we've got about half of his health down then we're just going to do this again okay so as you can see he's almost down uh we're just going to do protect wave um, and again, we don't have to do this. You'll probably just do a heal normally. But the reason why I do this is just so um, he doesn't damage us. So he's going to obviously be doing all of these moves. And it won't affect us. So, And the cool, thing is, the cool thing is he's actually lined us up again. Okay. Um, so we can now do our move. So now it's our turn. Uh, as he's quite low, we can just go straight in for the damage. Hope for a crit. There we go. Uh, the good thing about the crit is it acts as if you've done the acceleration boost and plus we get the little combo there so it really does help having 100 percent camaraderie that's one thing i'll probably recommend just to give you more opportunities and this should kill him boom with the critical as well and he is dead and yeah and that's the end of the fight it gives you quite a bit of experience uh, a medal <clears throat> and quite a decent amount of uh, money as well so I didn't even have my other, my second room on uh, up to 99. So if you want more damage, obviously you can max level him. Uh, yep, Master, I'm sorry. I failed you. My Lord Vampire King. Grand trick. Cool. So he's vanish, vanished. And so we got to go back to Mire. So we go back to Mire. We tell her what's happened. Uh, we tell her we took out Venom Iotis one. But then she's going to say, oh, no. But I feel there's still uh, a dark energy coming from the server. Can you, you know, go check out what it is? And um, I'll just say, yeah, I'll get to the bottom of it. But however, this is actually the case done. So once we're finished uh, thinking about it, uh, it's going to take us back here. That's going to complete the case. I'll just show you. Go here and that's complete the case. You get a 3,000 yen, hacker points, and you get a miracle meat, which is pretty sweet. And that is the case done. However, we are not finished with the Abyss server. Um, let's just get into the Abyss server. And I'll show you a bit of the start of it. Because uh, it is, I mean, it's not too long, but it's semi, you know, you, you'll see, you'll see. If you uh, if you guys have played things like the Persona series, then you'll be very familiar with how it works. So as you can see, this is the first floor, and there's actually people here now. So you can actually speak to these guys, and they will come along with you, okay? So you can actually pick a friend uh, that you've met throughout the story, Digimon or humans alike, and uh, they'll come. Uh, this is the last... Um, this is the last Mr. Navit. I'll just show you guys Mr. Navit what you get uh, before <clears throat> the story. So if you've collected all of them up during the story, this will be the last one. If you pick him up, you would get the medal here. I've already done it, so you won't see any medal pop up. And this is a medal as well. So not medal, sorry, a hacker's memory. So as you can see, this goes up to 30 floors, guys. Okay, so I'm just going to do this. Uh, I'm curious to go against the battles. These battles are quite tough, so I'd recommend doing highly high security and what it is it's going to be random generated floors with loads of different medals and items in fact i think there's three of these are going to be medals uh, so this one's going to be a medal yep and then the other one the last one's actually going to be an item because this can be like a farm item or it can even be one of the usb so like a billionaire usb a tactician usb or anything so very good for uh farming those stuff and also very good for farming medals now as you can see i'll go to the next stage just to show you guys 
the next floor again is another random generated floor now every temp so when we get to floor 10 or floor 20 there's actually gonna be a mini boss there guys uh, you will you know just need to fight them nothing too bad but then the big bad boss is gonna be on the 30th floor uh, I'll show you how to get him when I get there so I'll see you guys on the top floor okay boys and girls we are here on this server 30th floor and as you can see the big bad boss Grand Drachmon is standing there waiting for us. So team hasn't changed guys, uh, Oriumon just leveled up on the way here but it's still the exact same team with the exact same setup just make sure that obviously um, that the Orion ones are still faster than the system one. So um, it's a bit different um, in this fight other than the Venomite Osmon fight I think it's a slightly easier it's more of a standard battle it's not like um, the other fight the other fight was kind of like if you take too long he will steamroller you but Grand Drachmon he's just he's a tough guy you know he's not going to be a complete pushover but we can handle him with just a bit of setup so he's going to do a little safety guard on him so he will survive the mortal kill and he'll do nightmare three so he is quite strong and he will do a lot of damage on us uh, really annoying that he's starting off with this move uh, but it's okay this is gonna heal him so we want to try and avoid that so we're gonna start off the same way we did with the Venomite Osmon battle which is our two uh, Asian dragons are gonna be acceleration boosting and because we took some damage I'm actually just gonna use a HP spray A uh, just to keep us back on top of things so uh, Hell Crusher 3 will hurt us a bit, but nothing that we can't handle. Sticky net. So I brought um, Eric over, us, so you can bring anyone else that will help you guys more. Um, but I just like having Erica. So I'm actually, I'm gonna chain Max. I'm actually gonna chain Max. Uh, this no 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 that's a mistake, guys. Oh, don't don't chain Max system on me. Oh well, never mind. So. That's what this is about, so hopefully we'll still come back from this. So we're actually trying to get some crits here, so this isn't going... It's not the best of starts, but I can show you guys that even with uh, me acting like an absolute dumbass, we can still uh, do a lot of damage to this guy. So we're not getting any crits there, so it was a bit unlucky, but... Um, oh, but we did manage to uh, take off a bit of chunk of damage from him. So who you want to chain max? You want to chain max one of the Orium ones, so I'm just going to chain max... Um, this guy. Okay, and what I'm actually going to do, he's going to help crush up. No problem. I'm actually just going to do this because we've got the combo. This will be equivalent to doing um, one after acceleration boost, so it should do similar damage around 2,000 and something with non crit. With crit, should give us a bit more. So okay, yeah, almost 3,000. That's really good. Now I'm actually just going to use another item here because. I don't want to be losing anyone. He's probably going to do his big healing move anyway. So we don't want to... Uh, Overclock is amazing. That's going to raise all of our stats up. Well, attack and defense by 20%. Let's hope this hits a worm on. Perfect, perfect. So what I'm actually going to do here... Um, I'm actually just going to do a little speed charge. Just so we can try and uh, keep up with some of these turns. So I'm going to try an acceleration boost with the dragons now. Uh, and hopefully... The turns can all line up, so he's going up one was before. Alright, so I knew this was coming. It's not too bad. Uh, we can take this on right now, so uh, that's alright. So we're going to acceleration boost Orimon as well here, and we're just going to, uh, we can take a few more moves. So I'm just going to check, give to him a chain max as well. So guys, because of the little mess up from me, we have um, gone a little bit out of turn order and it's a bit crazy but as you can see with these guys they're pretty much able to handle themselves um, yeah so let's hope we get right so what are we gonna do right I don't want to push damage because we are quite low on the health side so you want to make sure that you're topping up with health and um, we're just gonna do another spray here we want to make sure that we're keeping the health up because yeah, nightmare free I mean this would have yeah, that probably would have killed her if we didn't heal, so that's not too bad. So we're going to Chain Max again. This is why it's so good to have the Chain Max, because it means even though we missed that turn of damage, we're able just to make up for it by uh, adding uh, Maximum Chain here. So this, would, this, I think, will break the barrier. Okay. Hopefully. Perfect. So that's broken the barrier. No, it didn't. It didn't actually break the barrier. 
That's uh, actually annoying. So, do, 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 do. right. So we need to be careful here, guys. So what I'm actually gonna do, because we seem to be running out of SP a bit. Um, all right. What I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna use a medical spray. So guys, I'm making this much more complicated than it needs to be. But uh, I mean, I've not really lost control. One, because basically what it is is once he loses his shield, he's actually going to. Um, He's actually going to regenerate health. So I could try this, but I just feel like she's not going to have enough damage, to really. Uh, so all I'm going to do is chain max this orange one because we want to be building up as much damage as we can. All right, so I knew this move was coming, but... All right, so that's annoying, but it's not unbeatable. That's fine. So what we're going to do... Hopefully we can get a crit. If we get a crit, this might push him over the edge. Nice. Breaks the barrier. He's going to heal. Perfect. No problem. 3,000. So we just need to do about 3,000 more damage. So this is where System on Blank is amazing. Because when he uh, does that, we can just do our protection wave. Um, we can just do our protection wave. And what I'm actually going to do here... Because he's just going to do a standard one. I'm actually just going to use acceleration boost. I know you're going to think like, what? But it's just because we have both. Alright, so he's actually going to heal a little bit. But he's not as much. Simply because we've got the protection. So that's actually really annoying. And um, that was a bit unexpected. Now I kind of wish I did that move of him. Ugh. There you go. Instant regret, guys. Instant regret. But it's alright. It's all good. It's all good. We can simply just go with this. Max Revive, his tank should be popping up very soon. As long as he doesn't do any sort of um, recovery magic. Immortal King. Alright, so we took too long there, guys. So if you do take too long, he will just uh, go back to his uh, protection, protective self. So it's not the worst case. We've been very lucky with these. Very, very lucky with those. Uh, but what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to chain Max... Okay, I'm actually going to chain max, um, I'm going to chain max the other Oriumon, just in case it doesn't move that boost up the thing, and we're going to do this, perfect, breaks the thing, he's going to recover, and hopefully does Hell Crusher, no, he does Ice Archery, so mm, that's a shame, but it's alright, we can still take it. Then we push damage this time, not making the same step, but we do have the acceleration boost from last time, which will finish him off with the critical. So, guys, I make that I made that a little bit more complicated than it needs to be. But the basic strategy, guys, um, is push damage, get him to break that shield of his, and then you want to get um, you want to get the Orumons together so you can quickly then push off them. That's right, it's good to put the chain max on them, to put the acceleration boost, just so you can push that 3000 damage. Uh, without anything, they can do around 2000 damage. Um, with a standard acceleration boost, you can probably push just below 3000. If you hit the crit, then you're pushing almost 3000. With the acceleration boost, you're going to you should be pushing over 3000 so acceleration and the crit boost will finish the job so uh, and that is all uh, that is the match over he is dead he cries and disappears and you get teleported back to uh, floor one also you have an opportunity there to do a little spend time event with whoever you brought up so that's really good now he actually comes back so you can do the abyss server as many times as you like take whoever you like and he actually comes back and you can fight him again um, but he will be a bit tougher, it will be a bit harder, I think more HP, maybe a few more moves. And the reason why you might want to fight him again is because you can actually get master barriers from them. So it's an item that cuts down all the status elements by half, so it's very, very good for farming that. I might make a video on that if you guys uh, like me to. But yeah, so that's it for today's video. Um, I've got a lot more things planned up. We're going to be doing the Master Cup on hard mode and eventually going into PvP and talking about strategies and all the stuff uh, for PvP. So look forward to that. Again, sorry for not being around, guys. A few things are happening in real life that stop me from making videos and whatnot. But I'm back now, hopefully to be making much more videos more consistently. So guys, if you enjoyed it, leave a like and a sub and you know, let me know if you guys need any help with anything. But until then guys, peace out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.